Lesson 4.7, Compare Two Numbers. We're going to compare two numbers between 1 and 10. We're going to use counting order for greater or less than. Sam wants to know which number, 5 or 6, is greater and which number is less. Here we have 5 and here we have 6. How can he find out? He can use counting order. 5 is less because it comes first in counting order, and 6 is greater because it comes after 5 in counting order. When we write the numbers in counting order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we see 5 comes first in counting order. 5 is less than 6. We need to circle the correct words. We see 5 is less. 5 is less than 6. We can circle this one. This is the correct one. 6 is 6 less than 5, or is it greater than 5? We see in counting order that 6 comes after. If you said 6 is greater than 5, you're right. We can circle these words. 6 is greater. 6 is greater than 5. By thinking of counting order, we can find which number is less or which number is greater. Here we have a pair of numbers, 2 and 7. We have another pair, 9 and 4. We have another pair, 3 and 5. We need to circle the greater number in the pair. In this pair, 2 and 7, which is the greater number? We can think about counting order. The greater number comes after in counting order, and greater means more. When we count, we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We said the number 2, and then we said 7 after that. So the greater number comes after. 7 is the greater number. For the pair 9 and 4, we can compare them, and we can use counting order to find the greater number. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 came after, so 9 is the greater number. Do you think 3 or 5 is the greater number? We can do counting order. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 came after. If you said 5 is the greater number, you're right. Greater means more. Here we have more number pairs. We have the pair 6 and 8. We have the pair 7 and 10. And we have the pair 5 and 4. We need to circle the number that is less. When we think about counting order. Here we have the numbers in counting order. And the number that is less comes first in counting order. Less means fewer, not as many. Which number is less, 6 or 8? We can think of counting order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The number that is less comes first. 6 comes first in counting order. 6 is less than 8. What about the pair 7 and 10? Which one do you think is less, 7 or 10? 7 comes first in counting order before 10. If you said 7, you're right. 7 is less than 10. What about the pair 5 and 4? Which number is less, 5 or 4? 
4 comes first and then 5. If you said 4 is less, you're correct. When a number comes first, it's less than the other number, and less means fewer, not as many. Using counting order helps us to find which number is greater or which number is less. Here we have Emma, and here we have Tala. Emma has a number of cookies that is greater than four and less than six. So what are some numbers that are greater than four? Well, in counting order, we would think four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But it says it was greater than four, but less than six. So which of these numbers are less than six? Well, if it's less than six, that means it comes first before six. Here's six. The number that comes before six is a five. That means Emma must have five cookies. We write the number five. Now for Tala, it says she has a number of cookies that is two less than seven. Well, what number is two numbers before seven? In counting order, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's seven. What number is two numbers before seven? We can think, here's one number before, here's two numbers before. She must have five. Five is two numbers before seven in counting order. We can write the number five. We write how many cookies each girl has. And comparing the numbers, the numbers are the same. Emma has five cookies and Tala has five cookies. Both numbers are the same. So we can compare two numbers by using counting order. The number that comes first is less and the number that comes after is greater. We can write the numbers in counting order to see or we can think of them in our head which number comes first and which number comes after. We're going to move on to chapter 5 now and we're going to learn about addition. I hope you'll join me and I hope you have a really great day. Bye.